Have you ever wondered why some dogs, when you throw a ball towards them, they never seem to be able to find it, even when it's staring them right in the nose? The problem isn't with the dog. It could be with the color of the ball. You see, the dog sees the ball and the grass as practically the same color. People with color blindness can have similar problems accessing our information if our color and contrast are chosen poorly. In this video, we will describe what colorblind is and how we can design our content in a visually friendly way. So, what exactly is colorblindness? Well, colorblindness occurs when someone has difficulty distinguishing between certain colors, the most common difficulty being between red and green. Because their sensitivity to a particular color is reduced or absent, the brain cannot accurately depict the color with the information it receives. Did you know that 1 in 12 men and 1 in 200 women are affected by some form of colorblindness? In other words, 4.5% of the population would benefit from a contrast and color-friendly design. So, let's get started. Which would you rather read, this or this? Not only are proper contrast levels essential for people with colorblindness, but having proper contrast makes readability better for everyone. There are plenty of free contrast checkers on the internet. I'm looking at one, contrastratio.com. Our goal should be a 7 to 1 contrast ratio for small text and at least a 4.1 ratio for larger text, although we can still do better. Contrast doesn't have to be black and white. Properly chosen colors can maintain readability while adding an artistic element. So for that, we are going to talk about complementary colors. Complementary colors are choosing colors that are opposite on the color wheel. It provides great contrast. Just be sure not to choose red or green. Adjacent colors provide too poor contrast and are especially difficult for those with color blindness. Warm and cool contrasting colors are similar to complementary colors, but cool and warm contrasts look at opposing sides of the color wheel. Choosing colors that are on opposite sides of the color wheel will increase contrast and readability, but choosing two colors from the same side will decrease contrast. Remember back in the early 80s when computers displayed only black and white images? Designers relied on patterns to show the contrast and differentiate items on the screen. Even though now we have color displays, using shapes, patterns, and textures to show contrast can help all users more clearly differentiate objects. In fact, this leads us to a bonus design tip. If you're worried that you don't have enough contrast, just print your document out in black and white or grayscale. If your document is easy to read, chances are it will be able to be read for people with colorblindness.